Every single person in Klal Yisrael needs to know this message from the Zayir HaKadosh in Parashas Truma. Oisoy Zaka'o, Tzorich Lirdoif Acha Harasha. Did you know that? The one who is righteous must, you have a chiyuv, to chase after the sinner. We could really stop the lesson right now. Because people go outside and they see Nebuch and Awar Dar mixed up people, kids who are in pain, people Machal Shabbos. And the first reaction we have is kicknished, don't look, don't look, and hope, you know, just you look away. We don't realize that we have a chiyuv in our Dar that didn't exist 20, 30 years ago in the way that it does today, an opportunity that we have. And we get lost. And here says the Zayir HaKadosh, you have a chiyuv. You can't just go home and say, Shalom Yeli, my house is fine. Let's go and enjoy a beautiful Shabbos meal. There are people out there. And he's saying that if you are righteous, Hahu Zaka'a, you're pure, Tzorich Lirdoif Acher Harasha, V'leknoisoi Bishar Shalim. And to buy this, to be kainer, to acquire this neshama for a high price. A high price means money, time, effort, not just to say, okay, listen, I did what I could, I gave $18, or, or I tried to schmooze with somebody. No, this is your life's mission. You have to be willing to lose out a tremendous amount, blood, sweat, and tears, to run after, lir doif acha he says, now nah, leave me alone, I'm not interested in you. Run after him, chase him down. In order that by running after him, you'll be able to buy him and acquire his neshama and cause him to purify himself from his spiritual filth. And by doing that, you'll subdue the evil powers of the Satan. And one who redeems the, sin, the sinner, when you do that, it's considered as if you created this renewed soul. This great accomplishment is more chashev, more precious to Hashem than any other praise or service that you can do for Him. More chashev to Hashem than learning Torah. More chashev to Hashem than doing mitzvahs is running after the sinner to pay a high price to acquire that soul. And that is the greatest accomplishment, the greatest shevach, she is alaboy HaKadosh Baruch Hu, more than anything else you can do for him. Imagine that you have a friend and this friend has a child that is very sick or has a child that is lost in a forest or a child that is lost in Yiddishkeit, and you dedicate your efforts day after day, week after week, month after month, to try to be mishtadel, to try to help that child, there's no greater thing you can do for your friend. There's no greater thing than you can do for your friend if he sees that you care about his child and you're doing everything that you can to bring his child back to him. And that's the same with HaKadosh Baruch Hu. More than anything you can do for yourself, for your schar, my Olam Haba, my learning Torah. The Baal Shem Tov said, don't feel bad if you feel that you have to waste time to help Nachayid. And you're mamish wasting time. You could have been learning, you could have been davening. It says Hashem wants you to serve Him in many different ways. Sometimes Hashem wants you to daven and learn. Yishev Adas. Connect to Hashem. But not when someone's drowning. If you work for Hatzalah and you're in the middle of davening, Ah, Gavaldik, I know somebody that had Atzala call as he was going Psichelanila. Somebody bought him Psichelanila for $8,000. He's on the way, and a guy had a heart attack. So what does Hashem want from you? Your Nila? Your davening? Your Yom Kippur? No, of course not. We understand that by physical illness. But we have trouble when it comes to, to emotional illness, psychiatric illness, and spiritual illness. But there's a fabulous story of the Beis Yisrael, the Gai Rebbe. He was the holiest person, Kanoi, extremist. He was going out in the middle of Yom Kippur, and he saw a guy there, Nabuch Machal Yom Kippur, and he spent the rest of the day schmoozing with him. He gave up davening on Yom Kippur, Mincha, and Nila. Would you do that? If you were on the way to shul, maximum you would say is, hey, uh, Ruben, 
nice to see you. You know, I'm a little busy now. How about we schmooze tonight? How about we get together tomorrow? He gave up his mincha and his nila to try to schmooze with someone. He wasn't telling them about tshuva and stuck and tila. He wasn't trying to get him to fast the rest of the day or to come into shul, to schmooze with him. Before he died, he said, this is one avera that I never had charata to do. And then he added, even though I didn't accomplish anything. <laughs> Listen, if I gave up my Yom Kippur, and 80 years later, I'm an old man, and I say, ah, oh, that's one avera I didn't regret doing, because look at this person, I made him from, and he has children and grandchildren and great-grandchildren, show me to mitzvahs. That makes a lot of sense. But Chabun Shtofkatin, the Gerev said, I didn't get him. The Gerev got so many, the Baisa Sul got so many people back to Yiddish guy. This one he didn't get. So I would have said, Oh yeah, I lost everything. I lost my Yom Kippur and I didn't accomplish anything. The Baisa Sul said, No, results are from Hashem. It's about doing the best Aveda that Hashem wants from you right now. Ma Hashem right now at this moment. And to him, Schmoozing with an off the derech guy with the hopes of one day having a kesher and maybe bringing him back to Hashem was an upgrade, not a downgrade. It's an upgrade. That's more avoidance Hashem than davening mincha nila and shul. Rabbi Cutler did the same thing. About 80 years ago in Lakewood, there was a boy, Nebuch Machal Shabbos, and Nanhala decided they're going to throw him out of yeshiva. And Rabbi said, it was around Yom and Leiram time. Bring him to Shul by Nila. I want him to be in Shul by Nila. Try to arrange that for me. Ooh, the Askarim thought, can you imagine? Probably your Baron, he knew how to give Musa. Before Nila, he's going to give a shmooz. He's going to get up there. And he's going to tell everybody about the last moments and the holiness, the Kedusha of Yom Kippur. He's going to rip open the Paraychis. Maybe he's going to call the guy up and give him a Sefer Taira and make him do Tshuva. It's going to be magnificent. Obviously. If Rebaran didn't want to speak to him a week before, or a day before, or after, he wanted him there, Nila. Obviously, he's going to give him a tremendous drusha, Musa for everybody. Wow. Somehow, they managed to get him there. The guy came in, not dressed in Kippur Dick, and he was in the back of the shul, and Rebaran went over to the Valtvila, and he said, you continue without me. And he walked down from his, it was Yairid from his place, and he sat next to this guy. And shmoo. He schmoozed. He didn't say one word of Musr. No toichacha. Nothing about how could you, why did you, I'm going to throw you out of here. He schmoozed. How's life? What's going on? How's it going? No. After Yom Kippur, they went over to him. Rabbeinu. We thought you're going to use the opportunity of Ni'ila, a special moment of holiness, Kedusha. Hashem Kim crying out and screaming out to be Makar of him, to put him on the spot. Who knows what? But to schmooze with him, why did you have to give up your nila? Why couldn't you schmooze with him yesterday? Why couldn't you schmooze with him after Yom Kippur? Said the Baron, Zatzal. This person is in such a low matziv that he needed to know that he is more important to me than nila on Yom Kippur. Wow. He knew that a person who's sinning is broken, has a low self-esteem. He thinks he's worthless. He thinks he doesn't matter. But when I... The Gadol Adar, I guess the Baron knew that he's an important person, the Rosh Hashiva, the Gadol Adar, I'm willing to sacrifice what means most to me for him. I'm willing to sacrifice my Ni'ila to schmooze with him. That's all he needed. He didn't need Musa. He needed to feel important. Kavod, Yedidus, I care about you. I'm a you. You're more important to me than my Ni'ila. He said that's the medicine that he needed to have. And this is what we see from the Tzadikim. Pay the full price, give up whatever you need to, in order to take away the zuam of the spiritual filth and subdue the evil powers of Satan that are killing our nation. We're going through an emotional holocaust. We're losing high percentages of kids and young adults and now even adults. But for us, it's opportunity. We need to know you can't go on business as usual. I have to go to my daf. Not when people are dying. I have to watch this and I have to be careful of this and we have to clean out. No, we have to run after them. A friend of mine was in a certain community that doesn't understand the Zayra Kaddish. And one of the chashuvim, chashuvim in the community, as they were talking, 
two kids on rollerblades, you know, obviously kips, what I call kids in pain, kids off the derech, they rollerbladed by, and he turned to my friend with such sinna, and he said, we got to get the garbage out of this town. We got to get the garbage out of this town. What a misunderstanding. Talking about Yiddish, Kindleuch, Neshamas, Chelech, Lekam, Imau, Bonim, Atem, Lashem, Lekechem, calling them garbage. He's off the derech. He didn't learn the Zayr HaKadosh. He didn't open his mind. That's not what Rabbi Aaron said. Rabbi Aaron didn't say in Lakewood, get the garbage out of my yeshiva, get the garbage out of my town. He gave up his nila for him to show him you are more important than my Ruchnius to be Mekarevim, which he did. That's what he needed. Such an extreme measure. Ooh, so extreme. When the matzav is extreme, you have to be extreme. He could have told him, let Shmuz after him kip, it wouldn't have worked. To this person, this asking, this holy man, who's really Isaac B'Tzach Yitzhiba, probably a good guy, just so misunderstood, just off. So he, he told this to my friend. And my friend put his arm around him and said, my dear friend, I have two such garbages in my house. Oh, he said, oh, I didn't mean it, I didn't know. Da, da, da. He said, no, 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 calm down. Let's talk about it. Let's understand what's happening and what we're meant to be doing. And this, when we run after these sinners and we try to bring them back and we give up our time, our money, our effort, we give up blood. That is the greatest shevach to HaKadosh Baruch Hu that you could possibly give him. More than any of your davening and your mitzvahs and your chesed and your learning. Matam, why is this so, says the Zayar HaKadosh, ki hu garam acher, because you subdued the forces of the evil Satan and you uplift the honor and praise of Hashem. There's a tug of war happening over here. The Satan, the Yitzhahara, wants everybody to go off the derech. It used to be a half a percent, a percent, two percent, five percent, ten percent, growing numbers for whatever reason. We're not allowed to just keep on living our life while they're drowning and falling into quicksand and dying and overdosing. What are we doing? What are we busy with? Learning at a time like this? You're going to learn? It's so selfish. Of course everybody needs their Das Taira to know how to juggle. How much should I give up for my learning? Should we all stop learning and save them? Should we stop halfway? Which person has the ability to do so? Which person is supposed to give money? Which one should give effort? Of course you need your Das Taira to juggle. But to ignore it? To ignore a Holocaust that's happening around you? Because you are okay or you think you're okay? Chas v'shalom. But how do you do it? What's your attitude? Hatred? Sinna? You run after them and say, you better be from, and I hate you, I'm going to throw you out of here. Val Zekosav Ba'aren, says the Zayr HaKadosh. Look at what Aaron did. Aaron HaKoyim. V'rabim heishiv me'avoyim. He turned away many people from sinning. Uksiv, and the result was, Brisi Hoise Itoi. Because of Aaron, that went ahead and tried to makariv the sinners, he was zeicher brisi hoisei My covenant was with him. Let's note, Hashem was with Aaron brisi hoisei not because of his personal spiritual level, not because he was the kain gadol, not because he was shavet to Moshe Rabbeinu. How holy was he? No, that's not why brisi hoisei because you brought back my precious stones. You returned Ashavas Havei, the Neshamas that were lost to me. Virabim Heshiv Me Avain is what caused the Brisi Haisi Itai. How did he do it? So we have a Mishnah in Avais. Havei Mitalmidov Shel Aaron. Oyev Shalom. To be a Talmud of Aaron, you have to be Oyev Shalom. We know what Aaron did. Rabbim Heshiv Me'avayin. We know the result was Brisi Haisi Itai, and now we're going to learn his technique so you'll know how to accomplish it. Havei mitalmid of Shalarin, Oyev Shalom, love peace. Roydev Shalom, run after peace. Oyev is Habriyois, love the cre- creations, creatures. Umakarvan Lotayra. And the Svarim tell us that why does it say Oyev is Habriyois? Oyev is Habriyois. Oyev is Habriyois. 
Because these people we're talking about are acting in a way that they have no right to even be called Adam. They're not even called Jews. They're not called humans. They're merely creations, creatures. They're mamish on the lowest level. As I state in the Tanya. Tanya Periklam and Beis. That's why they're referred to as Briyos. But through Oyev Esabriyos, even someone who is on such a low level that he's just acting like an animal, your love can cause Umekarvan Lutaira. The way he brought them back was, was only through Ahava. And he loved them before they were from Oyev Esabriyos, it says first, and then Mekarvan Lutaira. You can't go to someone and be Mekar of them unless you love them. Aaron Akoyin's technique to bring back those who stray was love. Says the Zayra Kodesh, anybody who seeks out a sinner and leads him by the hand, umishtadel, key word, umishtadel by lazev derech and you try to help them, to remove them, to leave the path of evil, Success is not what it's all about. Try. Try through Oyeves Abriyos. Try through loving them. Who Oyele Bishalish Aliyos. Listen to what happens. You become elevated in three ways. Mashalay Oyele Kach Shum Ish Acher. We're living this world to get into Oyele Mabo. You want to have an Ali and Oyele Mabo higher than everybody else? Here's how you do it. Number one, he causes the power of Satan to be weakened. So that's a tremendous aliyah. Two, you cause Hashem's glory to be magnified in the world. Three, you cause the entire universe, both the upper and the lower spheres, to be sustained. And on such a person, who is mishtado, you care and you try, you're just trying to use your skills to love these people, to bring them back. Look what happens. You are zaycha, brisi haysa itai hachayim ba'ashalim, my covenant was with him for life and peace. B'zaycha lirais banim libanav, you're zaycha to see nachas from your grandchildren. B'zaycha ba'olam hazeh, b'zaycha lo'olam habah, Yezaycha in this world and Yezaycha in the next world. Kol Bali Hadinim Lo Yechaylum La Dunaisa. Coming Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippur. Listen up. All the judgments, the prosecuting who are going to kill you for your sins, no harsh judgments of the prosecuting forces will be able to chastise you. Kol Bali Hadinim Lo Yechaylum La Dunaisa. Ba'olam Azeh U Ba'olam Haba. Everybody has sins. Wouldn't it be amazing to have an insurance policy that in Oilam Azan and Oilam Abba, none of the, the, the rulers of judgment can touch you? Isn't that amazing? Yes. How? By throwing them out? You're throwing away your own rope. You're throwing away your own survival. Isn't that incredible? Every person, you can have every person does sins, every person is going to be judged. One person spends his time to run Lirdaif after the Rishayim, those who are sinning, and to buy them and pay for them and try to get them and schmooze with them and through Ava. And he gets protected. Hashem says, you care about my lost children. You don't want to get the garbage out of town. You want to bring the garbage into your house. How dare how dare from people talk about neshamas like garbage, especially when we know today from all the experts that these are kids who are suffering, who are in pain, who have been hurt. How dare you do that? That person really, really needs a tikkun. We have to run after him to save him. Nobody can judge you. No harsh judgments. No prosecuting attorneys. Can judge you by Ilam Azel, by Ilam Abba, and then after you pass away, Nichnas, Bishneim Osir Sha'arim, Be'ein Misha Yimcha Be'yodai. You will pass through the 12 gates in Shemayim, and no one will be able to protest your ascent. You're going to go into the elevator, penthouse. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 12, penthouse. And you're going to hit penthouse. 
And the angels are going to come, they're going to say, hey, 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 you don't belong up there. You know who's up there? All the tzaddikim, you're not a tzaddik. Comes the bodyguards of Hashem, get away. He may not have been a tzaddik. He may have done a lot of averis. But he was mishtadel. He tried to bring back my lost children. He tried to give up his time and his money and his effort to be makariv. Friday night, go to the parks, go to the lakes. How are we so stupid to put up walls between us and these kids? This is your opportunity. This is your life preserver for your life to not have din. On such a person, it says, To this person who's running after the sinners, to be makar of them with love. His offspring will be mighty upon the earth. The generation of the upright will be blessed. Wealth and riches will be in his home. And his righteousness, his tzitkus, for running after these Quote unquote, Rishayim, who are struggling, it will endure forever. The righteous ones will merit that light will arise in the darkness, gracious and full of compassion and righteousness. Do it for yourself. Be selfish. Realize that you're surrounded by opportunities. Nebuch and our door, we have so much sin. But Hashem, for us who need Tzchusim, Hashem gave us chances, opportunities. Go out and save my children. We should do our mission. We shouldn't be confused. Stop marching against them. Stop being upset about them. Stop being full of hatred. Use the skills of Aaron Akayin of Oyev Shalom. Roy Dev Shalom. Oyev is Habriyos. On any level, love them. And you'll see you can be Mekar of them, Lutayra. And the result will be for yourself. That you'll be Zaycha to Aksiva Bechsim Matayva. Nagutka Benchtia.